In this video, we'll learn how to enter a recall or an alert in the system. A recall or an alert in the system refers to a process that actively identifies and systematically recalls any patient or clinical information that's due. To start with, first select the patient from the patient search page for whom we need to put an alert. To add a new alert, click on Recalls in the menu. Hit New in the top right. Enter the initiate date which we initiated the alert and put the due date for which the alert we created should pop up. We can pick the date from the drop-down as number of days, weeks, months, or years. Enter the name for the alert in the Names field and take the appropriate status, which can be pending, completed, etc. from the Statuses drop-down. Select the correct category of the recall from the Category drop-down and pick the type, which can be Alert, Recall, Reminder, etc. Billing alerts are displayed only in the billing-related screens, like Charge Entry and Charge Master. Similarly, EMR-related alerts are displayed only in the EMR screens, but all the alerts are displayed in the Patient Master and Scheduler screen. All recalls will also get added to the Reminder tab in the Clinical Desktop. On clicking the Reminders tab, the clinical reminders with their status as pending will be displayed with an alert name, details, initiate date, and due date. Now comes the review date. Review date is the date when a user reviews the recall. Alerts will be notified only till the review date. After this review date, the alert will not pop up. If you want to assign this alert to any user, pick the user from the drop-down of Assign to User. Enter the details of the recall in the Details field, and if you want to put any comments for the review, you can put it in the Review Comment field. Once all this information is entered, click on Save to save the recall.